Hey, I might be a little late filing my tax return, but sending a one-man army seems like an overreaction. I am here to investigate the theft of a blue SUX-6000 that belongs to Melissa Kuzak. Fancy car and fancy name. But I hardly ever get the pleasure of dealing with either. Do you have any information about the whereabouts of this vehicle? To be honest, I did some work on one of those cars recently. But I can assure you that it was not the one you're looking for. Do I have your permission to search the shop? I know what the world's like, but can a man go about his business without being harassed all the damn time? Citizen, I would like to inform you that knowingly delaying an investigation is classified as a felony. Yada, yada, yada. I don't have all day to listen, nor do I understand this bureaucratic jargon. Would you like to call your lawyer and have him explain it to you? You know what? If you really think you'll find evidence of that SUX ever being here, then be my guest. See, I've told you, you'll find Jack all, because there ain't nothing to be found. This place is legit. I need access to one of your lockers. I can't allow that. It's my worker's private possessions. You said your shop has nothing to hide. The locker you have in mind belongs to a boy named Scott. He works for me on and off. I have to admit, I had a tiny feeling he might have something to do with your case. I will open his locker for you, but I won't be held accountable for what's inside. That's his locker. Go on, have a look. And what do you reckon? Is he your man? For the time being. Where is the suspect? You see, he hasn't turned up for work for some time. This morning when two thugs swang by looking for him, I knew he must be in trouble. I've overheard him many times talking about a place where he does car jobs on the side. Give me the precise location. I can't tell you exactly where it is. All I know is that it's one of the garages near the local storage compartments. Tell me why you think he is responsible. He's young, bright, and would like to rule the world. I get it. But nearly every month, he gets himself in trouble. It is not enough to make assumptions. I'm not a cop, but I've seen many things in my life. And where there's smoke, there's usually fire. Is he a temporary worker? You could say that. 
We fall out a lot because he brings a lot of hot stuff to the shop, and I'm not okay with it. And you let him come back? It's hard to make an honest living these days. That's why I understand his struggle, and I let him come back. Working here keeps him out of trouble. And to be frank, it's not easy to find such a good mechanic either. Why did you cover for him? I can't watch a decent kid like him get swallowed by this city. Don't look at me like that. Instead of giving him up, I was encouraging him to come clean. But a man can only try. That is all for now. Hey! Make sure no harm comes his way. He might have done some foolish things in the past, but he's a good kid, and he deserves another chance. A court of law will be the judge of that. Oh God, I messed up good. You must be Scott. What did you do with the blue SUX 6000 that you stole? Hey, well, why would I have anything to do with that? I have found evidence in Ben's shop. You can't possibly help me. I don't want to cause any more trouble, especially for Ben. Admitting to a crime is the best course of action for any young offender. I can't go to Juvie. Who's gonna fix this mess? My duty is to serve the public trust. Okay, okay. I admit. It was me who jacked the SUX. But he didn't leave me any choice. Who is he? I can't tell you. If he knew I gave him away, he'd take revenge on Ben. Oh God! It must be those thugs! We're dead! No one is going to save us. If they are criminals, then they are the ones who need saving. Hello? Anybody home? Where are you, Scotty boy? You can only hide for so long. Oh, it's the metal pick. Blast knocking at the roof. <laughs> Human. Go down, hit. sucker! It's that metal freak! They didn't think that through. Maybe you can put an end to this after all. I am missing vital information in order to resolve this case. I'll tell you what you want. Just please, help me fix this screw-up. Where is the car now? Oh man, I'm sure it's still in their chop shop. It's a warehouse on the northeast side. The entrance is concealed, but I'm sure you'll find it. I'm no fighter, but if there is any other way, I would like to help. Maybe you need some more intel. Who did you mean by him? It's Rex, from the local gang. 
I only did petty jobs for him mostly, but this time he made me steal that car. He said he wanted the SUF 6000 we were repairing at Ben's. When I said it was too hot, he slashed me with his knife. Why were you hiding? You saw those thugs. They were looking for me. They realized I tricked them. They wanted the SUX 6000 from Ben's shop, but I didn't want to get him into trouble, so I stole a different one. I doubt anyone would have given a shit, but word on the street is that it belongs to the mayor's niece. Any criminal matters should be reported to the police. I know. I just thought I could figure this out by myself. Ben was right from the start. I shouldn't have gone down this road. That is all for now. Proceeding to the vehicle's estimated location. You are calling for backup, aren't you? Negative. Threat calculation minimal.
I can't believe you've actually done it! Do you think I could take that car back to the owner and say I'm sorry? Maybe she won't press charges. This car is now in police custody. Oh, please, I could really use a helping hand right now. Otherwise, I'm back in juvie. Proceeding to secure the perimeter. Keys are in the ignition. Thank you so much! I promise I won't mess this up! <laughs>